Welcome back to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody. We're right at the beginning still of Chapter 6. I'll be exploring the Mistlands. Looking for the Queen. I felt a little bit exposed with the insects start making it to my house. So I put a little bit more of a wall on. And I've got these wispy towers. I'm starting to connect, collect wisps, which will be useful for making paths and lights to show my way through the mists. Keep coming back. Keep collecting them. And I'll also want a wisp light. And for that and a lot of other things, I'm going to need silver. And I've collected a bunch of silver over at Mountain 5. Just need to figure out how to get it back, which I'm assuming is going to be a boat. Yeah, we got 11 wisps. Mountain 5. Let's see, where are you? Mm. <laughs> uh, mountain five. Where are you? Mountain four. Thought I did mountain five here. I guess I just haven't marked it. Well, silly me. Let's mark it. For future reference, this is uh, just up this ladder, you know. We've drug a pit here. We've put just under 90 silver in the barrel. I mean, I think it's worth it to pull that much back. That'll give me the beginning of Frostner. That'll give me the Wisp Light. Probably a couple other things. Will I need more silver later? Pfft, probably. I'll just go get more silver when I. You know, I, you know, I you know. Yeah. Um, another thing I'd like to do is probably bring a cart to get that silver down the mountain. Uh, 20 wood. I remember right. And also 10 wood for the workbench. Alright, well. See, I forgot to enable my controller. Let's hope that works. There we go. So the cart is, yeah, 20 and 10, and got the boat. We're good to go. I have no idea what time of day it is, given all this rain. I'm a little confused. Oh, I see. My stairs in just short of what they need to to keep me from being rained upon. So I'm learn to jump up that. Can't sleep, so I'm just gonna assume it's time to go. <laughs> we can't sleep, it's time to go. Uh I don't think I need another portal. I have BF9 right there. So basically I'm taking down avoiding the planes and just I guess trying to run through the <laughs> forest without a path. All the way to BF9. Let's get it going. We then strictly need to bring the boat materials. But I got them. Okay. Poke her head out here, see what we're going to do to also be safe on this. So, I mean, I'm at the side of a cliff. I need to get over there. I think I'll just cut a bit more of a hole through here. Oh, my things are opposite. Hang on. Flip that real quick.
There's something that happens if I start before I've set this that makes my buttons just opposite of what they should be, and I, don't, I have no idea what. And I haven't been able to eliminate anything that would be causing that. And I just, so I just use my little system where I'm setting the settings separately to, in the WSD app that I use. And just set them to what I need to. Okay, this is wide enough to pull a cart. Okay, one second. Let me turn the fan on. Okay, my room is the closest to the furnace, so it always gets really warm in here when the heat's on. Woohoo! Alright. Man, this is a pretty clunky mountain. Let's just see what happens. Go. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, cart off roading. Alright, we're all collect this thing. Why not? A little wolf meat, wolf fur. Who, who left that for me? Thank you. Yeah, straight into the forest here. Oh! What? Why? What are you doing? I guess I'm that close to the planes. Yeah, alright. Okay. Off road in here. Yeah, dude. Come the hell on. Get away. Just get away. Get away. Rocky Road. Running down the hill. Something, something, God, yabba dabba do. Not a big fan of that song, whatever. Oh, yeah, the tree I cut and just left there. Still there. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I know, you really don't like me moving my cart through your area, but <clears throat> we're doing it. And look at all that stuff I left from the giant there. Alright. We made it. He's still throwing stuff at me. Take it all the way over here. There we go. Alright. Come on, let go of the cart. What do you want to talk to me about? Okay. Alright, well. Good talking to you, I guess. I only had to run so soon. Can I see some... Yeah, let's go grab the stuff from a giant. Chomp, 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 chomp. We're just wasting no time just getting this going. see no I don't I'm glad for that all that stuff on the boat
Look at those fish over there. There's so many fish on that rock. <laughs> hey, fish. <laughs> One, two, three, four fish just hanging out on a rock. Thank you. There's a piece of black metal in here to take. Yeah, four pieces of black metal. Hey, hey. And I don't have motor, and I could use motor, so uh, let's just go grab motor before we get going. Oh, no. Black metal in the boat. Let me get going. I think my boat will be okay here without me. Nothing seems to care that it's here. It's not hurting anyone. It's just a boat. We'll grab motor. Do some boating, might as well have an advantage. Interesting. So the wisps seem to hang out in the rain, but as soon as the sun comes out, they go bye bye. All right, choosy. Do some boating. Get the silver back, make the wisp light. Frostner. Be upset if I can not upgrade Frostner enough and then decide to come back and get more silver, etc. See, it's slightly late in the day, so this means if I'm out boating, I'm just gonna have to deal with serpents. It's okay. And as far as the path. I kind of think I want to go all the way around the continent here, just to kind of see what's around. Be a bit of a boat expedition. And, uh, you know, if I need to stop at some points, I've got a couple of portals back if I need them as I'm going around. Let's just go ahead and head back, see what's up with a couple other items like farming. Food. Etc. I have no food on me, so that's probably a problem. Okay, let's grab a few. Uh, I don't need anything really major. I'm not doing anything battle wise. BF9, you stay there, and you become Planes 1. Let me go check on my farm. I'm sure I got a cultivator. Wheat, barley, <laughs> not so much flax. Oh, did I lose an entire line? Uh oh. Uh oh. Might have. Yes, I did. Not planning very well. I lost, I think, a line that was too close to the wall there. Not a travesty. I've got almost all the rest of it out. What's it going to come to? Or maybe not. Maybe I started kind of far away from the wall. I don't know. Go back and watch the video, I guess. So if I get 100, okay, well, I can't remember how many I planted, but 100 sounds fine to me. 
Let's get some planning. Keep the barley going. Should be far enough away. And be greedy. Just kind of give them a space here. There, she's watching a Italian sort of, I don't know, detective story. Maybe I don't know. Couldn't tell. Anyway, it's called uh, the Bastard of Pizza Face or something. And a woman I recognized on the screen in this Italian production from the White Lotus. She played one of the sex workers. Who's key in the film, one of the main supporting roles. A really great role, both of them. I think those characters were good. Anyway, this was uh, something, something Tabasco. Pretty easy to remember the last name. Can't really remember the first name, and it was her. Hey, I recognize her. Very different character. And it was. I was kind of thrown. I was like, well, then wait a minute. So this show, and when was it made, and what's the age of this person? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It was just kind of like it was an interesting. Like, yeah, doesn't matter. Don't know how old she is. Doesn't matter. She can play whatever she needs to. Both these characters. And, uh... Anyway, my partner was kind of like, Oh, she can speak English? That was what she was responding with. Because she's learning little bits of lots of little languages. It's always, I think, kind of a curiosity to hear of someone else that has uh, different languages in their repertoire. I, I somehow got on an, an oh yeah, now I kind of know what happens, because when you plant, you plant one, when you pick, you pick two. So if I plant one less than whatever, then I end up with the odd number of barley. Don't know why that wasn't obvious to me before, but <laughs> it's obvious to me now. Alright, so the uh, lock's fur downstairs. See if it's sleeping time before boating time. I think it is. Yes, sleep, liking sleep. Yes, sleep. You're getting sleepy. Uh. I've started the editing process for chapter five. I think it's like thirty-eight something, thirty-something episodes. Got the first ten in the to be rendered kind of mode. This is interesting, so I could do a couple of things here. Like I was saying, like if I want to make a quick ex quick run back, um, instead of being Planes 1, we named this one Home, right? So it's unconnected, so if I happen to hit a need to come back while I'm out boating, it's taking too long or whatever. Then I can rename one of my other portals that I have along the way to home and come back and rename it when I'm done with that, etc. But it's morning time. The wind is uh, okay, I guess, for a norther, northern uh, boating expedition, which is what we're doing. Looks like a good start. All right, I'm gonna go over here and empty and refill my packs. Dancing tonight at El Cid. No place. It's not feeling the energy. I'm tired all day. Get a 
musical improv class again this morning. And that was good socializing and had people over here last night. And, you know, I've had enough, kind of. Got a whole rehearsal tomorrow. Always doing stuff around here. So it was very nice to have been included in an invite for that party. Uh, let me sit this one out. All right, so I haven't eaten anything, but that's okay. Hey, I'm just in a boat. Wind is okay. Whole land over there I haven't experienced. Black forest. I guess that's just all the northern part I never have had to explore. There's still be a lot more that I haven't explored than I do explore in a solo game like this. Hey, I think I was over there before. I see some trees still lying on the ground, but I probably knocked it down. Um, hmm. I think I might have looked at the boat there. Yeah, that's kind of where I've launched a boat before. And I went over and found, finally, Haldor. Long time ago now. Many, many in-game days ago. I don't really know what's up to... So we're like up north here, how far and what I'll do. I know I don't really need to go through there. I mean, that, you know, looks like there's a shortcut I could take. I uh, need a carve. Uh, and then I know I can take a carve through that. It'll definitely save some time. But like I say, I th I'm just going to stick to the long boat, explore around the shore here. I expect mostly there's just meadows and maybe a little bit of mountain and black forest all around. And I got the wind in my back and we're making good progress. I got motor if I need it. Seven minutes left in the episode. It's going to be a boating episode. Peaceful. I don't know. I guess I might as well equip my sword in case I need it. Let's check out the sights. Watch the fish jumping. Maybe I'll get lucky and a few will jump in my boat. Enjoy the light. Colors. I'm making a slightly enlarged boundary around my continent. Lonely world, in a way. You're on a solo server. Viking would think there's plenty of wood. So many things you can harvest. Infinite amount of resources. Yeah, the infinite amount of resources. Assumption. Part of what screwed up the world a little bit. I think mean, that's part of why we're kind of screwed up a little bit. There's not infinite resources. There's a sad amount of resources. I don't know, 10 billion people? So, man, we're getting close to 10 billion people on the planet. You know? People get worried when the populations go down. Are you kidding me? That's great. Go down a little bit. Up, down, up, down. You know. I know the... Uh, idea that people probably have they're a little scared of like what happened in idiocracy where smart people because they're 
greedy and selfish and, well, smart. I mean, don't want to have a kid's whole bunch of damn dirty, stinky, booger-crusted, sticky hands little children. Because they realize that, you know, it's a lot of frickin' effort. A lot of expense. But stupid people are just stupid. There's gonna be kids left and right. Oh, God told them they have to have the babies. They have to have so many babies. God's telling them to have those babies. Come on. So I guess people are worried that then that'll lead to just more stupid people having more babies and more people being stupid and the whole world could be stupid and the buildings are going to fall over on each other and we're going to elect the president uh, who's a wrestler. Which All of this is already true, become true. That's the past now. Welcome to Costco. We love you. World we're already in. Ah, the hot dog at Costco is 12 cents cheaper or whatever. And some other hot dog somewhere. Guess what? They're both garbage. You're shoving garbage in your face and saving 12 cents. There's a freaking newspaper article about this. Why? Why, people? Oh, Costco treats their employees well. They pay them health benefits and whatnot. Sure. Good. Glad ridiculous that has to be the exception doesn't mean I need to shop there you know what I mean stop talking about it don't tell me about the deal you got or whatever you can get there I don't care I don't want to hear it I never want to hear it oh boy well this sucks Didn't see that. I mean, I kind of did. I was so busy ranting about Costco that I just, just didn't even, didn't even care. I'm pretty wedged on this rock. Oh man. I guess I'll eat a little food. Oop! <laughs> take my belt off. Get the stamina up. And see if I can push the damn thing. I can swim right under it though. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so I guess I have to uh, whack it. Okay, maybe. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, little mistakes can cost a lot of time, you know. Is this really not going to budge? Look at this. There we go. Oh my god, I'm hitting my boat. I need a storm. Wow. Okay. All right, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> All right, well he helped me out. Thanks buddy, I kinda feel bad killing you. You really helped me there. He destroyed the rock that was underneath me. I did not, I didn't expect this to be part of the adventure, but uh, that was kind of fun. My boat's in pretty shit shape. Let's see. Can't get any of this stuff, I guess. It's okay. Alright, do I uh, need to set up a workbench and repair it? Let's go check it out. It's getting late. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's 30 minutes, so we'll check out next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>